guys, Jo here with another Time for Tea Designs tutorial. Today's video was filmed on Thursday evening as part of our Facebook Live um, and features one of the brand new uh, stamp sets, Ab Baked with Love. So to begin with, I'm um, going to create our background and I'm doing that using some of our super smooth cardstock and one of our cover plate dies, the Dotty Hearts one. Um, so I'm just adding um, that to my cards cardstock with a little bit of our rainbow washi tape just so that that doesn't move around in my dagger machine and then I'm going to pop that through the, the uh, dagger machine there and it's a little bit hard to pick up on camera so I'm trying to just give you a view of those little dotty hearts but they look so pretty um, in real life and really do come out when you use a little bit of distress oxiding which is what we're going to do now. So I'm taking one of my blending brushes and I'm just applying some of my uh, scattered straw stress oxide ink to the bottom uh, left corner, sorry, bottom right corner <laughs> of my uh, cardstock. And then going in with some dried marigold um, and blending those two together. And at first, I think I thought I would just have the colour towards the bottom portion of my card but in the end um, I decided to pull that colour a little bit higher up the um, card base there. It really did work incredibly well with this uh, dotty heart print that uh, is die cut into your card panel and um, it really brings out those, um, those decorative elements. So I'm just working through each of my colours here um, blending those together to create a really nice, nice smooth uh, transition between those colours. Um, and I'm now going to add a little bit of um, splatter with, first with some water, so I used a little bit of my water spray, and then some of my white acrylic paints. And I've added some water to it to water that down, and then I'm just going to flick that off the side of my palette here with my paintbrush to create some um, pretty little splatters onto my background. You can see there how, how lovely that looks and I've just popped that to one side uh, to dry while we stamp out our images. So like I said, the stamp set that we're using today is the Baked With Love um, stamp set um, and I'm going to use one of our little little mice um, and the mice uh, mouse that we use today is one that the die cuts out his little paws. So I'll show you that element um, shortly. Um, I'm also adding a few accessories that we'll add to the card front as well. So um, the little chef's hat, the block of cheese, the bowl and the whisk. So I've just added that to my stamping platform. These stamping platforms um, are so useful um, because I did feel that I hadn't got a fully clear impression on my little mouse. So I have stamped that twice and if I didn't have my stamping platform I wouldn't have been able to do that accurately. So that was a real um, a real plus point to have. So I'm just adding some colour now with my Copic markers um, and you've probably seen me do this a few times now if you've watched my previous videos. Um, so I started with the lightest of my markers and applied that all over the body of the mouse and now I'm just going in gradually from each side to add a little bit of depth and dimension as well as colour to my mouse um, because I wanted him to be a warm grey field mouse kind of a colour. Um, so um, I'm just working in towards the middle um, and then blending each of my colours again by going over the top of them um, with each of those shades. And then I felt the bottom needed a little bit of shadow because the bottom of his body would also be in shade um, from the rest of his body. I'm colouring his paws, um, his tail and his ears in with shades of uh, pink. So I'm using my R20 and my R32, just keeping it really simple, not um, a lot of shading uh, for some of these smaller elements, which makes it really easy and quick to colour. For my block of cheese, I'm using my R20, my R12 and YR14. Um, so these are warmer shades of yellow, so um, the, the yellow red shades, and I think that goes really well with that background. And then our accent colour is going to be the, these BV shades, which are a really nice complement to the um, shades of uh, coral and uh, lemon that we've used in the background. 
So again, really small images, so not a great deal of shading required, but we've used the same principle of the lightest um, to darkest. And I'm using those coordinating dies now to cut out each of my little characters. And this is one of my favorite bits, is when you get to pop out those uh, those little uh, die cuts um, that you've colored. They look so sweet once, once they've been cut out. Um, so I'm just removing that washi tape really carefully so as not to rip my cardstock. But they're all of our elements, all colored and cut, and they look so cute. And here's that um, element where the paws die cut that we mentioned earlier so the little whisk will fit into his paws there and that just makes for an extra really sweet interactive element so now to create um, a little bit of a frame for our character to sit in and i'm using our quilted nesting dies here to create that and some of this really pretty shimmery cardstock and i'm just showing there how how pleased i was with myself i'd managed to do a little bit of organizing in my craft room um this week um so and i have used our clear uh, story pockets to um to really organize some of my uh, scraps of cardstock and then uh, out my trusty label maker uh, to label that up so that everything's easy to find, easy to organize and pop away. So I've cut out my first frame with that gold glittery cardstock and I've got the centerpiece there as my waist which I can use um, for a later project so do hang on to those. Um, but I want to create some dimension with this frame. So the easiest way to do this and attach this that I've found um, is to cut out several of the same frame just from some uh, plain cardstock. It doesn't have to be particularly thick. We're going to use um, a few layers of this. So I've done three layers. And again, the waist I can keep and use in different projects for later on. Um, and now I'm just going to um, stick all of these frames together using my liquid glue and build up my frame um, so that I don't have to add any uh, foam pads or any shaker tape and try and struggle to get that onto the back of my, um, my frame. Um, they will all um, stick together perfectly and create um, almost my own um, like a like, um, chipboard, that's the word I'm looking for, a chipboard element um, that we've created ourselves. So for our sentiment, I'm using some black cardstock and I've just used my anti-static powder um, bag there because we're going to do some heat embossing. And I'm using the sentiment baked with love, using some of my embossing ink there to um, stamp out that sentiment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to add some gold um embossing powder which is something that I've not used for a while so I've got my little wow storage case there that's really handy and keeps all of my um, my powders together and then I've pulled out the um this is the let me just double check it's the metallic gold rich um, that we're using here and then I'm going to heat that with my heat gun and look at the shine on that, that that's picked up really well on camera um, and it looks absolutely beautiful in real life as well so to put out my sentiment, I'm using this um, sentiment die. This comes in the Best Fishers Border and Banner uh, die set. I think I said that right. Um, and it's one that I use all the time. Um, I, I love this particular die because it fits with pretty much all of the, the sentiments that, uh, that we produce. And we do try um, to make sure that everything works well together so that you can use all of your sets in combination with each other. So now that uh, sentiment's been die cut, I'm now going to add some liquid glue to that um, focal panel that we uh, that we created earlier, that background, um, and then I'm just going to stick that onto my A6 top folding card base. Because the uh, cover plate die does have those curved edges, I'm just going to snip off the edges of my card blank so that it, that's it, that curvature continues to our card base. And now we can start. Hmm, excuse me, constructing our elements. So a little bit more glue on our frame. I've just attached that to the top portion of my card base. And now I'm going to add my elements to my little uh, mouse here. So using my tweezers just to help me position that whisk in between his paws um, and using some liquid glue to set that in place. And then his little chef's hat with a little bit of glue um, before I add my um, foam pads 
to uh, to the back of him. So I'm just working out where I want them all to sit because this will help me determine quite where I want all of the foam tape to sit. So um, using some of these three millimeter um, foam pads to the back of my mouse um, so that he's got a really nice bit of dimension and he's he's perfectly um, aligned with that frame which has now got a, a fair bit of depth to it as well and for the um, for the little bowl one side will be sitting on top of my mouse so I applied liquid glue to that side and then a foam dot to the other side and then a foam pad to our little bit of cheese for my Baked With Love sentiment, I'm using this strip of shaker tape, which is perfect um, to fit along the side of there. Um, and I'm just showing here that I do have a little, uh, little bowl full of extra um, embellishments and bits, die cuts that I've used in, for previous projects. And they will also fit into your little mouse, um, mouse's paws. So, um, so, yeah, so I think, you know, this it means that you, you can co uh, combine them with your previous Time for Tea sets as well. I did feel that it needed a little bit of something else in that um, top left corner of the frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own little embellishments. Um, I've taken a scrap of my black cardstock and the Scattered Hearts cover plate die. And I'm just going to cut a little bit um, of that cover panel out. And I've got this little compartment compartmented um, storage box. Um, I think I've just made up my own word there. Um, so that I can keep all of my little bits in it um, that I can then use at a later date. And I'm picking out some of those little hearts to, um, to just add to that corner. And I think that worked really well with the theme because we've got hearts in the background with our dotty hearts cover plate die. We're baking with love. So there's love is in the air. Um, so those little hearts just are the perfect accent to it. Um, and the black worked really well with the black um, sentiment strip that we've uh, used as well. Some of my jelly roll pen adds some little highlights to each of my characters and then the black glazed jelly roll pen adds a little bit of shine to the mouse's nose and then um, I'm using some of my clear nouveau uh, drops to add some shimmer to those um, to those hearts that we've added. Um, once this dries, it looks quite um, milky in colour at the moment because it's wet, but once that dries, and you'll see in the pictures at the end, it adds a really nice shimmer and you've almost created your own enamel heart um, stickers there. So that's a close-up view of the card that we made. Um, I was really pleased with how it turned out. Um, I really hope that you um, enjoyed the tutorial as well and it's given you a little bit of inspiration. We really appreciate you watching. If you did like the video, then please do like and subscribe to our channel um, and hit that notification bell to be advised of any more videos as they become available. Thanks so much for joining me today and for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.